let us begin. So, last time, you guys went to the Contravance Holt, meet Cassandra Volt, where you guys had a good old hoedown. You ended up defeating her after flying on some airships with Grendridge and his girlfriend. You then had to make your way out. On the way in doing so, were approached by another airship. You guys decided to jump ship, leaving Vanessa um, on her ship to basically try and draw off any attention while the group and Grendridge went through the Contravance Holt, hoping to make their way, finding some passage outside of it to some way. I don't, know, I don't even know where you guys were going, honestly. So, <laughs> you guys had some plan, I hope. Um, but in doing so, kind of got lost, and Perrin wandered off, left the group, and got kind of um, sidetracked by some body, some figure, some humanoid that basically charmed him to walk further into the forest where he was caught by some large plant monster being that you guys did defeat after taking a casualty by Perrin, and Life and Fuctus are now unconscious and for some reason are unable to be brought back to life. Now, the creature that you guys have just slain has the machine of Cassandra inside of it you guys found. <clears throat> Upon doing so, there was a small crystalline shard that went inside and kind of enveloped inside of this machine and then dissipated. Now, that's where we pretty much left off at. You guys were here. There is Grendridge, Gildor, and Orem alive, beaten, bloodied, but basically standing. And I need you guys to give me a perception check. As you guys stand here, you see Perrin slammed. Oh yeah, we, here we got some dice over here. Funny dice too. Oh, it's a D100 over here too. Uh, the blue. Yeah, that was the one I was using. The yeah. Okay. I didn't believe his character sheet here, did he? Probably not. Of course not. Thanks, anyway. No. <laughs> the only he things he has is like, he has braces of archery. And, uh, yeah, most hands. Uh, he might have some gold. We'll say he's got like 25 some, gold. Some like poach? Oh. Yeah, but we yeah. lesser are actually archers. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't really matter. What was your perception? Fuck it. <clears throat> All right, so as you guys look, you guys basically peer off. Now, you have tried to heal them. You dropped health potions. Mm -hmm. No effect. After a few moments go by, you notice that there's almost like this black aura that starts giving off of the three bodies. Can I arcana check that? Yeah, and as you are peering off at them, you see almost like dark chains that start forming over these bodies, enveloping, not touching the bodies, but just hovering over like an aura. 24? This is, uh, this is some kind of, now are you just standing off at a distance, or are you? I'm like, decently close. Decently close. close. Yeah. Um, as you look, you can tell that there's most likely some sort of like maybe curse or hex, uh, some sort of effect that you're not quite sure of. Now. While all this is going on, and you guys are out here trying to figure this out, you two, as well as Perrin, even though he's unconscious, completely dead, you two, though unconscious, not quite gone, still like kind of locked inside your minds, you are just seeing darkness. You're yourself bound, chains all around you, almost like a, like a, like a sunlight or like a solar beam just beaming just on you in complete darkness enveloping around you. No voices, no sound, no nothing. Just strickening, tightening chains. You, on the other hand, similar scenario. So after a few moments, you try and move, break free, and you just hear this small laughter. It comes from a distance inside your head, and you hear it kind of bellowing out. I'm going to take this one. And then you see like a flash of Perrin in his body in chains right on the ground in front of you with a light that kind of shines off in the distance about 50 feet off with light that's illuminating. He's going to join my army, my legion of the dead. Know that I exist. 
that I still follow you. I am watching all the time. If I'm going to take this body, know that this is one free bargain. It is that, or is the life of yours or another? And you see now, in chains off another distant, fuck this body. You don't notice anything. You are still enveloped in darkness, but you see Aaron, fuck this, far off, in chains. Choose. Yes. And as you say that, your light, and fuck this is light stays on, and you see the darkness in Perrin. The light just goes out. And now you two, as you guys are trying to kind of, yeah, you guys are kind of, <laughs> like, like, just like right here. Just you like, guys are walking around. You know, you're conversing. Grendridge is, you know, what are we doing? He's looking around, wondering if there's even more monsters possibly lurking around. As you guys take a moment, you see these dark aura and these almost like dark chains start pulling. Parent's body in the ground. So you this see, voice is recognizable. I do know who uh, this is. Give me a religion check. Oh, it's recognizable. But <clears throat> it almost seems subtle, very distant. You've heard it, um, and in your mind, almost harsher than this tone, actually really hearing it with a bargain, especially to be made. Uh, you made a quick decision. It, there was no chance for, you know, maybe a different tone or anything, but from what you can tell, it's something you remember. At least faintly um, and as you you hear that just hear almost like a soft chuckle as you see the light now from you going dark same with you and then after a moment you the light goes pretty out I want to say they have nothing to do with this it was me that angered you I just met these people and nothing to do with it. say that and then the light goes dark and as you Barely see the light going dark. You hear the voice. Let's see. It goes dark. You two both barely feel life brought to you. You're brought back one HP. Aaron, you see this body now slowly just beginning to be enveloped. See these dark chains just start being tossed up quickly, and then the body just being pulled beneath the ground. After a few moments, I'd say about 10, 12 seconds, body just submerges and you see dead grass start just sifting over. And then dirt just kind of lay beneath it. Just softly, loose still, not like a hole in the ground, just something almost concaved it and then basically all of the ground where he once laid and put new dead ground back where it was and like kind of concaved it back in to smooth it back out. No. You see Grendrick, she's just standing there. Well, that was weird. That was weird. What the fuck was that? He comes over. Are you guys okay? <clears throat> I think so. I can't say the best for the elf one. <laughs> Guess he's not getting escape. Are you doing <laughs> a paper towel there? No. And just going to the forest, willy nilly in the middle of the night. At this time, it's about I mean, five six a.m. Our plan was trying to escape, and we were getting close until we got attacked. Uh, I don't know if we should play with me and Torgo. Technically not attacked. Had to save the dumbass. Yeah, true. Anyway, let's not stay any longer. We can get out of the forest and maybe. And he kind of looks up. Still know the direction. About two hours if we continue heading west. Sun will be rising soon. Easier to track. 
It's our plan when we get out of the forest. Out of the forest doesn't necessarily mean in in civilization. <clears throat> it's a couple towns outside of the forest, maybe a couple of miles. I know of maybe two or three. I'm sure, we could go there, see what's happening. Maybe at least spend a night, get our feet underneath us. That sounds amazing. We're gonna be sitting here for at least ten minutes. Wanna be? You wanna sit here ten minutes? All right, we're fucking sitting here ten minutes, and you kind of see him sit down and start unstrapping his boots. Ugh. All right, while we're sitting here ten minutes, he's dead. Did anybody get any of? Okay. Did anybody get any of his gear or anything before he fucking died? No. He starts I could, walking I around. I couldn't even get his bones. Um, that was pretty fucking crazy, though. Body just... Uh, I don't know. You wish. No, I've had all kinds of military you training you and... A pen, like ink, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what yeah. What are you going to be writing for? Uh, I'm going to... Look to the fucking... Uh, what did you do the fucking... On the... On the Rear cover of this fucking like religious book I have. Okay. I don't. I don't think I have any other paper. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I have any like paper or anything like that. I take out a piece of paper cool. and I hand it to him. Thanks, bud. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write down the symbol of the silver quills or what the fuck are they called? Silver leaves. What are they? Leaf quills. Leaf quills. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just as from memory before it's too far out of my mind. Okay. Uh, and so that way I just have the symbol. Right, give me a uh, intelligence check. Okay. Just to see how well you. Uh... It's completely. So I'm casting. Are we short resting? Yeah, ten minutes is what we're this is. So we're chilling here, my man. I, I thought short resting was like. Yeah, short rests are technically an hour unless we're. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh well, I mean, true, yeah, true, true. Of, I mean, yeah, some people do them as ten. So I was cast, casting prayer of healing. I mean, it's like so 30, 30 minutes to an hour, isn't it? Hey, I mean, okay. we can say it. You know, see, it's whatever the fuck you want it to yeah, be, Connor. It's, it's your fucking game, <laughs> Yeah. You, oh, there's a, there's a lot of people who are like, you make ten. Yeah. You, you know, guys are chilling here. We'll say. I don't know what your health is. Does it work on dead? Yeah. I this is the one that doesn't work. No. I would love seven health. Seven health. Seven health. Seven health. Again, Grendrys. Oh, I'll take it. Health. Yeah. All right. Now let's wait another like fifteen minutes so I can get a little bit more benefit from this. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah, yeah. When we get out of the forest, where are we heading? Let's get a game plan. Let's not have another wood elf. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's not have another party member wandering off and getting fucking submerged into the ground for some region. Excuse me. Reason. Yeah. So. Any ideas? My my current thought process is we're in the bump, middle of bump up nowhere in, in Newall. True. Some fucking podong villages that you know of, but uh, I mean, one's a decent town. <clears throat> Two, one's a real rundown fucking piece of shit. But it's a place we could definitely. F- I mean, all three we could find places to stay. It's not the we're looking towards the future. I'm looking towards the future more than tomorrow. Which is probably foolish at this point. But the idea is we got to get back to Inventus and then. Eventually, yeah. Aberzine. Aberzine, yeah. yeah. Of these three villages, will any of them... And we're far. Yeah, yeah. Will, uh, will any of those make that trip easier? Yeah, we caravan horses. Something. Okay. Um, right now, probably 28-maybe-ish days, 30-ish, yeah. if we're the, walking. The other idea is instead of going towards these villages, when we go to the village, and instead of heading straight to Inventus, we head to Newall, which is the actual capital, which would be much closer... Should almost certainly have. Wait, New Orleans is the capital. It's capital, it's of, capital the region, of the region. Of the region. <clears throat> I thought you meant the capital. It's capital. the county seat. Right. Yeah. Uh, we could. I'm sure New Orleans would have some way of quicker transportation, whether it's airship or teleportation. Certainly. It won't be airship. It won't be. There won't be in New Orleans. All. It only is going to go towards Rock's region if we get on any airship. But. Caravan horses. Our fastest day, probably, if we can get, and we have a little bit of gold to spare, we'll probably cut it down to 12 days. 
Well, I can make horses. I can be a horse. And he can be a horse. Let's steal an airship. <laughs> That no, went, let's do it again. Because that went fucking great. We just, couldn't have stayed with the one we had. No. You so had no so he just kind of looks there. at you like, now laughing. Yeah. We still. My the girlfriend. We only use it. I guess ex-girlfriend, but we're trying to make up. We only use it for when we need it and ditch it. We've already done that. Yeah. Lost. We were using it for too long. True. We got caught in the air. Exactly. Too, too much heat. Had we only heat. used it for three a, days. We only right? used it for a day. We should have changed the paint job on it. That yeah. Was, we set the heat on it. Change exactly. course, exactly. anything. Change course, we anything. New plates, everything. Now, can't do that. So what are we going to do? We're gonna walk out of the forest. People are gonna see us. Yep. We're just gonna get a get a get a drink, get some food, spend yep. the night, fucking regather, find a caravan, find head horse. towards Abrazine. Uh, Can we not go through the capital? And by the capital, I mean not New Wall. I mean the capital capital. capital, capital. Can we get a whole mm. of our laundry Listen. I can send a bird. She All I'm going to say is, I'm a military leader. Yep. Not a huge big deal in Albazine here, okay? Mm-hmm. But I fled my post. They don't know exactly what happened. And I haven't really been in contact for a couple days now. Mm-hmm. They know that I... Most likely escaped with you and was behind it. So I'm going to have explaining to do as well. So we should not go through the capital of a media. Or we will immediately be in jail faster than we can even talk. That's fine. So <clears throat> we go around. Maybe another day. Now we're going to need probably 50 gold to get us a caravan or something, or are we gonna transform into these horse things you speak of? It'll exhaust you in time, but I'm down. It's free. Yeah. We we camping off in the sides. Where do we where do we make do? We hitting up towns? Are there like smaller like towns? Uh, yeah, I would love to. I mean, Shame. they're not named. We could probably some you know very small hovel. You know, 50, 40 people staying in some small areas. I'm sure I don't know them all precisely. I will confirm. I told you I know of three towns in the area. Yeah. That's That's it. On on the way back from. We're going to a village close by. From there. So you guys start walking. Yeah. Because at this point, you guys have been walking. Yeah. Yeah. From from there to Alberzine. We'll fucking make it up as we go. But I would prefer. I personally would prefer to stick to the road's travel. Probably more often than not. All right, so you guys start walking. Is there anything else while you guys are heading through the forest? Do we actually get it for a rest? Yep. Cool. Yeah, you guys were chitter chattering. Cool. Now, as you guys start walking, everybody give me a perception check. You guys have about two hours through to get to the forest. 23. Okay. Well, eight. Eight. Okay. But Arlanda has teleport. Green bubble lights. Uh, what if she knows about easier way? So, anybody above a fifteen, you guys, as you guys are walking through, after about thirty minutes, you notice that the trees kind of start opening up. Um, give me investigation checks. You notice that there's kind of some sort of pathway as you guys start looking around. Sixteen. It's starting to become a little bit brighter out. Sixteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, 16. Six, okay. Okay, these are all good enough. Um, as a group, you guys notice this looks like some pathway, and after about 30 seconds, you guys kind of look around. Grand Ridge is like, you guys hear that? You guys kind of hear something like, sounds like wooden against rock. It kind of, when you hear, you hear hooves as it goes on. You wait a few moments, and over the crest of a hill, you see what looks like two horses being pulled by, or pulling a caravan. You see a man on the back of it, small gnome. A few moments, he stops about 50 feet. <clears throat> well, how goes it? Strangers? I just wave. He waves back? Well, hi. Well, howdy. Hello. Guys, Sorry. Just traveling to Just Event. The Just Vins, where I'm heading. We are going towards any civilization. Oh, we're running into some troubles? Yeah, you could say that. You kind of see in the back of the caravan, there's like five to six adult individuals. They're just kind of peering out. 
I don't mind them. They're just here for the ride. You now notice as you look, Eddie's tours on the side of this large caravan with kind of like a drawn back tarp. Kind of makeshift, but it's held together. Black and another gray horse side by side. You need a ride? I mean, if you're offering. Oh, I am, but it's going to cost you. What's the price? Five gold a seat. He's not going our way, is he? I don't know. I don't know. Grendridge, is he going our way? Is this one of the villages you I know? I mean, of? yeah, it's going to be. He's kind of. He's heading west, though. If not going to be heading, you know, south, which is kind of. We need to be heading, like, southeast. But, you know, he's he's get that's one of the three villages I know. Dresdven's pretty big, too. Which means we can get good supplies. Oh, yeah. What's everyone on gold? You got room for all five of us? Six of us? Five of us? You're willing to pay! You got to this! Vinny, scoot over! Huh? 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 It's five, it's this five, is a colonel, right? It's five gold per seat? Yeah. Excuse me, sir, what? This is to the DM. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the heart of the dark man's got made with the price. What does it do? Uh, those who knew his kind of a face. Uh, I wouldn't say he can see far enough. And it's not, you know, he's not close enough. Um, sure. You could try and, you know, maybe persuade him down if you want to haggle. Worst comes the worst. How long is the trip? Five oh. four. We got about an hour left. Thanks so much. But, left? uh,. All right, we'll, we'll take uh... Well, hold on there, sonny. You got some gold. Well, yeah, yeah, that's not a problem. Ten gold to see it, I cut it in half. She didn't hear nothing, Nancy. You said five you gold. Said five. Five. I said five yeah. for an hour, but you asked how long. I said I could cut it in half. Oh, no, time's not the issue. All right, well then, hey, Nancy. Oh. All right. Scoot over. Worst comes the worst. The uh, carriage is sketchy. You can just... Are you guys getting on? Uh, Granger starts making his way. He, he just drops five gold. He, he, okay, so Granger just paid for. Yeah. Uh, I right, see so you guys are getting on. You hear I'm, it kind of uh, creaks uh, up and the doors kind of flap to the side. They're only about knee high. He's a gnome. I'm so. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking spot Gildor the five gold. All right. So you guys are both all making your way up. Uh, and then, uh, and then I'm gonna fucking turn into a weasel. Okay. And then hop on Gildor's shoulder. Oh. Okay. That's that's cheap assist. You just kind of. All right then. I give him the gold. Yep, and I spot him the other four gold. <laughs> it was five. Yeah, but he's a weasel. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> you guys make your way through now, and you hear him. He just kind of goes on and on. This is the whisper tree. Grandson carved there, and he just goes on and on. You guys I go for about an hour my, through. You don't have an hour of prepared content, right? No, Come not on. for this. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> He's quite awesome in a way, but also annoying. Um, quite knowledgeable in the area. Getting smashed. Grendridge seems to be relaxing. It's a little bit tight now. There's, a, as you can see, there's four or five individuals in here. Um, actually, five. As you guys look around, there's three humans and there's two dwarves. Nancy is one of the dwarves that seems to be working with him. As he kind of is looking, she's kind of just making sure everybody's, you know, comfortable. And any of the bugs or anything aren't kind of too close. Every time a large little bug or, you know, creature can answer, she's kind of just staving it off. Um, You guys go through for about an hour. It's quite enjoyable. You're reading through your book. Give me an intelligence check. As you are going through, is there anything else you're getting Nat smashed? Not 20. Nat 20. All right, so you're flipping through, getting lights. quite a bit. I'll show my back then. <laughs> of course. He had just lost. So he's so. definitely chipping on the side. You guys just hanging out and enjoying the ride? I, yeah, I mean, I would, while he's paying attention to the book, I would essentially just be looking at the other passengers. All right, well, that's the end of our tour. Um, that was Teddy's tours. Please come back. Any day. I have five routes and 15 more opening next week. Thanks to Nancy. You see her, she kind of stands up next to her. We have more cabins arriving, so hopefully the prices will be cut down and new routes will be allowed to go down. And you see me kind of just 
pulls on his jacket, he kind of steps down. Now, get out! Now! The rest of you! You see now everybody kind of goes and he kind of just waits for them to go. No, come on now, now. You guys wait back a moment. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where are you going after this? Well, I'm going to go get a drink. Okay. No, you I mean, mean like, after this? After like... I got tours lined about? up to... Well, of course. I do tours all day. I thought that was... Yeah, we got about you're... an hour and a half to kill. Yeah, where's the next one going? Through the Conch of its Holt. Oh, yeah, but like, what's the end point? Probably back here. Back yeah, we kind of loop through. Okay. I mean, it, it depends on the route that we take, but I don't know. Me and me and Nancy, we flip coins. Sometimes we take bets. Why? I was just seeing if they went anywhere else. I mean, I got other caravans. I was gonna ask where you came from there, Scally dude. Don't really come through that forest too often seeing bones like you walking out alive. Hey, I'll have you know, I was bones way before I went to that forest. Okay. All right. Don't believe you, I guess. Now, what about the rest of you? We got a caravan. Uh, I'll hop off Gildor, Gildor's shoulder and drop the form. No! Yep. Jesus! I saw it happen, though. Yeah. When we first it's so startling! <laughs> yeah. I don't know when it's gonna happen. You said you're gonna get drinks? Is there a bar in well, town? I was gonna go to a bar, yes! What a clanky day. I'm looking for a bar. Uh, we're about five minutes outside town. This is why I end my tours and everybody go. I, I don't take them. I don't want people knowing where I live. Yeah, I don't blame you. I can walk with you in town. I got a caravan. Go figure, yeah, you know. You want to come with? I suppose. Do you know this town? That's further. We talk on the caravan. Come on. So after a moment, you guys get onto the caravan. This one's free. It's cool. One time. Now you guys get on, you guys wait about five more minutes and you enter what looks to be a town called, uh, yeah, Dressven. As you guys do so, you notice that it's, um, it's walled in, it's got a river running through it, it's got a decent population, um, it's mixed entirely, though you see a lot of, I'd say, halfling, gnome, humans, and elves. Um, it's about 7, 8 a.m. at this point as the tour ended and now you guys are making your way in. Uh, you see a lot of stores and shops are starting to open. Um, you notice just kind of going through that you guys make your way to what looks to be uh, a tavern or some sort of inn. You hear him, he kind of whoosh, snaps and the horses stop. You see the wheels kind of come to a halting creak. All right, this is where I drink. You got money still, right? Yeah. They're about to open, so we coming in? Sure. Alright. Make your own way in. Now you guys gather a table. Alright, now <clears throat> what do you want to talk about? You want this caravan? You wanna go somewhere? I mean we are trying to. I wasn't looking for a bar to discuss things. I just owe my friend Rich here a large amount of alcohol. Greg is just sitting there like, I'm just fucking... I don't got much more gold, but I'm trying to get back to Alberzine. So, <clears throat> yeah. whatever whatever they're trying to do, I guess. Well, he said, yeah, we uh, we essentially are trying to get back to Alberzine. He kind of looks, is is this a safe place to talk? Well, why wouldn't it be? What, do, what are we talking about here? <laughs> We're just talking about Kevin, right? <laughs> you guys are fucking... Paranoid! After what is he so paranoid about? After the night we've had. The like week we've had. Yeah, that's not about me. What did you see at Drake? Somebody fucking died. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. There was Is that what you would do? You killed a man out of the head forest? No, a no. giant a giant plant tentacle monster. He kinda of narrows his eyes at you. Yeah. Have you ever seen a wood elf pop out of a You're not talking? Was it you? Just said. Uh, I'm 
watching you. Nancy! Oh, she's not here. I mean, yeah, it was involved a wood elf bursting out of the chest of a giant plant tentacle monster. Sweet Jesus, sounds like some and horrible bedtime jumped, story. And then he jumped back inside of it. Correct. After he escaped. And that's when the tentacle monster... Was he into it? The tentacle monster or the, the wood elf? Oh my god. He was all up in... We need to stop right now. Woo. Where's the, where's the waitress? Jesus. <laughs> two. I need two. You see just this little, like, gnome behind the bar. She kind of puts her toes over. All right. Now. Just out of curiosity, what would it cost to take one of those caravans? What do you want? Go to buy it. Maybe. I mean. Just the caravan? Well, the whole working operation, you're going to need a horse or two. Do animals need full carriages? I don't see why they couldn't. I don't see why they couldn't. (laughs) (laughs) Virtual pets. We just need need the wagon. I mean, but then, I mean, I'm just letting you know, then you just have a wagon in case something happened. Well, worst case scenario, you can turn into something to pull it. And Darwin can fucking haul that caravan. I mean, I guess you turn into an actual fucking war horse. Yeah, like an ox or something, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. What the hell, well, like, what about your endurance? Eight hours. He could do it for normal pace if you want. It'd be, like, normal. Uh, I can maintain the shape for two hours a pop, and I got two of them, so it'd be four hours and an hour break, and then another four hours. Yeah. And then the rest of the time would be my phantom seed. I mean, yeah, that's, that's so I can do eight hours One a day. One seed thing. It could. It would just be. It would just be a, like the normal no pace for the caravan. Yeah, it wouldn't be like fast pace. pace. We don't want to. I don't even want to move. Fuck that shit. Slow and steady wins. Anyway, the race. well, the lowest speed of Phantom Seeds is ten miles per hour. You guys seem pretty interested in caravans. Been doing your research, yeah. huh? Yeah, we're we're trying to break into the business. Better not be my By business. break into the business, we mean do you the business not the of total getting across business, the country, right? No, no. The. uh that being said, do you have oh, no, territory in Alverzine? And where is that picture? <laughs> do you have territory in Alverzine? Are you a more more of a New All man? New All. Yeah. I actually live where I showed you just outside the forest. I mean, I don't live there. Yeah. Shit. That's a bad thing. <laughs> we don't care, man. Yeah. Just. But uh, you know, don't tell people where I live. And they'll come asking for toys all the time. <laughs> that sounds good for your business. Some people don't have money. Oh. Anyway. <sighs> oh, free tours. <laughs> what do you, what do you, so you want a caravan? 50 gold. Okay. I'll throw out a horse for free. Second one, though, is going to cost you 10 more gold. By the way, the name's Teddy. Teddy's Tours, yeah. Teddy's Tours, yeah. yeah. I assumed you were Teddy. So I can show. I mean, yeah, I guess. I just live outside the conference hall. None so of know. us have said our names. To, to be fair, I, I wrote down Terry. <laughs> Terry's Tours. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't really want to know who you all are. You said a man died. You have money? Just keep names out of this one. You sound like no contracts. We're good. Okay. No what do I trail? need a contract? Gotcha. Right. Sounds great. You have the gold now. I have food too. We can. I got some travel snacks. Keep you. Do you have? Do you have these pipes? You must help. I don't have. I don't have what goes in the pipes. But I know a man that could make them. I got a cousin. He whittles and he smokes quite heavily on his tours. Whew. Trying to get him to stop for a while, but uh God damn it, he oh. just won't. Oh yeah, okay. Then yeah, I'll I'll fucking I can throw in on the So are we waiting on the gods or what? Are we doing this? Like how much are you putting in? I'll I'll throw in Let me see that thing by the way. What's your name? I have a total of twenty. What does it do? That's fine. It's uh, a pipe. Uh I'll do Oh yeah, that's pretty I'll, good. Yeah, he has none. <laughs> what are they talking about? Yeah, we're gonna do this deal. 
So the fifty yes. for the the wagon. I think they're doing math. And the where'd the you get horse. those bones from? And then a second horse Which for next bones? ten. Your body. How much gold do you? Born with one hundred eighty-five. Give me a deception check. Okay, <laughs> so deception check. My bones. Okay, true. The gold true, you're right. Yeah, okay. Like, I have a count. <laughs> hey, come like, come like. Are you talking? Do I have bones? Fake okay. bones? Oh, like, no, I didn't. Uh, you're right. Alright. Uh, I'll pay for this. Don't part. you call me Terry? It's Teddy. Teddy. You were talking about not wanting no name, so I, I thought I was. Well, gonna I know my name. I want you to spread it. All right. How oh, about okay. this? How about this? You let me put Teddy's toes on the side of your caravan. I'll give it to you free. You're going all the way to Albazine? No shit. No shit. It's a fucking what? deal. Deal. Isn't this deal. from Dumb and Dumber? Deal. <laughs> Is this how they get the dog van? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Don't from care. what? Nothing. I don't remember. In Albazine. My cousins, how do you know them? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, deal. Like, deal. Like, is there anything else you want to put on there? Like, well, you could put whatever you for want. The 15 going for the horses. How about that? You said free just a minute ago. Caravan! Oh. Come on, you're cutting me dry! I want the free advertising! All right, 15 gold for both horses? And then you see, you see him, he kind of straps down and he pulls from beneath his robe about 15 parchments of uh, what look to be large business cards. <laughs> As he's out. Okay. Come up some business. We give tolls! Do all your caravans not already have Teddy's torch on the side? We got some new ones in! I told you we're expanding next week! They're not painted up yet! Wait, so you're telling me we get a state-of-the-art Brand Teddy's new one. Tor wagon? Well, I, I mean, I'll give you a, 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 a medium one. Not a brand new one, but this one still hasn't been painted. It's been stripped down! Lightly used? Fresh off the lot. Oh, it was used back at where our business, so probably not even used. Well, 15 gold for both horses uh, sounds great. Hey, man. Oh, yeah. Give me some travel snacks, too, because I like you. I don't eat food. You are so. That's well. you. Yeah, you guys want that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we got like, Fast food. Food. And you see him, he gets up and he just kind of stay a preserver. Those drinks! Let's drink! Hello! We get shot in the face. <laughs> 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 he just turns around and you just look in the background and you guys are tall enough to see that looks like this gnome or halfling chick. You're not sure is just making out with someone else in the back, not paying attention. It's early morning. You guys are the only ones in the yeah. bar. She doesn't give a I'll fart. walk up to the bar. Okay, I'm going to go into the kitchen and just... Just pour yourself a if glass. Was silver off the counter. Give me, a, give me a stealth check. I'm a holler. I'm like, hey. I was walking back there. And oh, you're just. Poof, she kind of looks hey, at you. Can you, can you I'm serve? Like, hey, I they kind of just. Can you serve my friends here? <laughs> they just go back. <laughs> don't they don't even care. Like, hey, just, I'm going to just cook something out. You just, you just see Teddy's like, you're not supposed to do that. And then, then I'm going to leave whatever. Gildor is just. The... You're a right, man. I'm going to talk to the guy. I'm just saying. No, but Teddy's just saying this in the background, like, what a man! However much I need, you work with this fella. However much I need to leave for like the ingredients. It's up to you. Whatever you want, bro. They don't seem to care. It's not their establishment. I am reading. All right, so you're reading. Why are you reading right now? This book's interesting. I got about thirty more minutes, and we're leaving. Let's just leave right now. Only three of us eat, right? I don't know, do you? you well, three talking, of you eat? That's crazy, dude. Like, there's Bringer's me and him, right? right. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, then, yeah, I'm gonna make enough for the three of us. All right, you, you just muster up enough. I'm gonna eat All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, before we get you started, gotta, you, are you gonna bring it with you? Yeah. All right, yeah, you bring it with you. Because he, he's getting ready to leave. He's grabbing his drink. He doesn't get his drinks. He's, he's, he's bouncing. Shit. Yeah. He's been I'm, waiting. I'm, 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 I'm trying to look in, as he's like trying to leave, we'll walk out the door. I'm like, I want to give you the 15 gold, please. Uh, let me pay like, like so oh, gonna, oh, yeah! I'm gonna, I'm gonna get Now, him. as as you look, you notice that you guys have been spending some time with him. Yeah. He's got some jewels on. Yeah. You see him moving around. He seems possibly pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, you're not quite sure, but he's got a couple rings. Um, he doesn't seem too stressed. He's in a good mood. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give him the fucking 15 gold for the two horses. Alright, well... Uh, I'm not getting my drinks today. You guys walk out of the door, and as you do so, you notice that there is a closed sign 
that has not quite been put up in view, but doesn't even seem like they're actually open. You guys have just kind of been chilling in a closed bar at 8 a.m. this entire time. You guys kind of walk out. And the, empl- the employees, was that who they were? You don't know yeah, if they were employees. They're just random people. You remember the waitress? It's a random person. So you guys walk you on your way out, yeah. and then you do. You look at me and went right back to it. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look back at Teddy. Teddy, did you walk into this bar, or do you own? I this do bar? this every day at 8 a.m. I've been doing this for years. What do you mean? Do you own this you bar? Own this bar? I don't own that bar. No. Then how are you just walking in? You just walk closed. into the bar. It's closed. You got turns around. The bar's not closed. Waitress, you just bad at her job. You're a character, Teddy. You're a goddamn character. Dude, I could be in there stealing shit, and they would not have cared. I don't know what's going they on. Fucking tell me walk so back wait, here. you're telling me that place is closed? This is it. Is there any sign on that says it's closed? You're a you're Saw it on the inside. You guys did. He did it. You're a legend. <laughs> I love this bar. Just You've just been, been walking, walking into a closed bar this whole time. Yeah. I don't understand. Have they been serving you? Ted? No! Well, why do you keep going? It's close to spa! It, but you don't, you never get served? I don't spend my money. Wait, so you, you just can't... take? Or, or do you just sit there? Just wait. This is sometimes people behind the bar. Sometimes they bring me drinks, but normally not. And you don't pay for them? I do. And you keep going? Sometimes a lot. Maybe you're paying a lot because you're going in when it's closed. You know of any other bars? Oh yeah, that are open at this time of day. What about any that? I don't know if they're open. Have any like in like in rooms? You go about half mile in Dressven. This is the the half full flagon. That's notable. Okay. There's a couple side ones, but that one partied out a few times. High establishment. Okay. You can get a room and board there easy. How long will it take for our caravan to be it's ready now? Us is ready now. You want a paint job? I mean, I can slap on my logo. It's all you need. Let's let's, let's do that. Let's do, let's do that. All right. Well, you guys make your way. You get oh, onto your caravan. Drendridge is like, this guy does not fuck around. Question: What did my intelligence check it? Oh, you net yeah, twenty. That was right. Uh, you noticed that you read. I'll say an hour through the mm-hmm. book. Uh, the tour and inside, just all the shit going on. Um, and I'll say that for the moment, you get another solid good read in. You notice that you're gonna, you're, you're on the cusp of unlocking basically the ability to unlock whatever this word or incantation is, or even ritual to be able to summon these larger creatures stemming out from basically these like other skeletal or zombie-like beings from just the earth, or excuse me, the land. Now, Teddy brings you guys outside. You guys walk for a few moments. Keep an eye on him. He gets back up. He kind of snaps his... Alright, now I'll take you back to my workshop. It's just offside my land. You guys do so. You guys travel as you guys do so you're on the outside of dress fan it's a walled you're not inside the walls yet you're on just the outside you notice that the river runs through you don't see any guards or anything few people just meandering through some of the fields that you see uh-huh. now this is all covered in snow just so you're you know okay. very cold it's about i'd say 30 to 29 degrees it's a little on the warmer side okay and it's early morning sun starting to come up all right here's my workshop now, favorite color? If you were to paint a room, any color. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I know what my favorite color is. If you were to paint your, <laughs> you were to paint your wagon. What do you want? You gotta put a logo on. It's gotta say Teddy Stores. What color? Make it blue. Blue. Make it All right. Blue. Dark blue. blue. It's hurt. Oh. Outlined in white. Sounds hot. Sounds hot. We are the moon. You heard it, Nancy! We are the light marauders. You now see Nancy walk out. Alright. Blue and blue and white or something. Alright. That'll be about 20 minutes, so, um... You guys just wait. Hang out for a minute. You just listen to stories of great tours that he's gone on about. Awesome tours. All the adventures. Wheels breaking. People almost falling off. People having heat strokes. It goes on and on. Seeing beasts. 
all kinds of stuff, almost encountering dire wolves, but seeing them just off in the distance. Storms getting nearby, but never getting too close. As you guys wait, you hear Nancy, all right, it's ready, but uh, <clears throat> this one's nicer than you gave me, Teddy. Don't worry about it, Nancy. You're still paying off your debt. I've been working for you. Anyway, don't worry about it, Nancy. All right, fellas. Spread the word. Got you. And come back and do a tour one day. We're going to prove it in this far north again, which actually we probably will be a bit. Well, I'll be most likely in the capital, or, I don't know, I might see you around, mythic dungeon events and all kinds of sorts, I don't know. Okay. I show up, I'm a, I like the watch, they're fun. Okay. Have you attended? Can't say that I have. No tootin'. No, I spent a lot of- Any of you. X well, re, like, study. Well, and you see him, he just kind of goes in his house for a moment and walks back out. It's for free tickets. I'm kind of a big deal there. I fund and sponsor some of the events. Get in. Watch it. Enjoy it. Gotta get you in one day. Alright. Oh, I almost forgot! And he pulls out a tray. The snacks! You need these! Yes, thank you. It's really paranoid! I'm not gonna do anything. You just have a really <coughs> strong personality. And we've been through a lot lately. Well, one of the best tour guides around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you on the hook now, you're almost working for me. See how this works? That's fine, yeah. I'm exactly, so I'm, 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 I mean, we, we've- Exactly. So we sell just about everything. I mean, we sold just don't body. tarnish that name, please. Body, yeah, I don't want to hear about bodies. No, don't say that. <laughs> How old did it? Oh, it's, it's a great way. I mean, this is finer than anything. I mean, it doesn't make breaks. No, I have, I have, this is better than. I, I have mean, one more thing. You get some bad luck in wagons, but if you're you're uh, an, a wagon a connoisseur. Uh, do you happen to have any way of carrying a wagon while unoccupied, like chain, anything? Yeah, like boot. We can I mean, just take the horses off. I guess. Usually it doesn't, you know. Fair. Okay. Usually the best thing I do. Okay. All right. Usually stops pretty well then. It's just a parent way to share showing through. Don't mind me. Are any of us actually able to drive? No way. I mean, you just need to be I able to control out. the horses down the road. I can literally talk to horses. How about this? And you see him, and he goes down and he puts on these, like, slight little, like, tire treads. They kind of press under the tires that allow the tires not to go too quickly. It kind of stops them almost with, like, a brake. There. We'll keep you at about a normal pace. Shit, Albazine, right? In this caravan? Stay on the road? Maybe about 15 days. Now stay on the road. I didn't want it. The last time we got blown off of a off a road in a wagon, we ended up fighting a pack of dire wolves. And our elf friend almost died there too. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, road sounds nice. Thanks for the advice. No, you guys know not to go near the storms, right? Without the druids or the sorcerers aid? I mean, I am a druid. This is the first I've heard of it, though. Well, then I wouldn't be going near one with you. But, that's, that's yeah, you guess what I'm saying. Sounds like some great money. Just don't go near the storms. Okay. Any of them. Okay. You guess from here? Not New Wall, no. Ah. I'm an Al- I'm an Al- Okay. Yeah, the storms are different. Be careful. All right. You head out now, you'll probably make it maybe even close to the edge of Newall by the end of the day, maybe, or even halfway. No, I, I think we're going to get a room at the half-full wagon. 
stay here. Yeah. Well, baby, I'll see you around. Anyway, I gotta get to my toilet, so. Why don't we just camp? On the way. Bye, Nancy, you got him, all right. We can camp outside. Pleasure meeting you guys. I don't want to go more than He just walks off. Yeah, it's fucking down. All right, now you guys are just kind of hanging out at his workshop. You guys are free to do whatever, but you guys have two horses that are being brought to you by Nancy currently, mm -hmm. as you guys now have this bright blue with dark blue faded with like this white uh, kind of like outline to it, um, even though it looks like it was done in some sort of like custardy paint that hasn't been used in a while and it kind of splotches around a little bit. She didn't use the good stuff, but he got done. Legible. Uh, and she, she brings up the horses. Now, just so you know, this thing is about 15 feet long mm -hmm. by about 9-ish, 8-ish feet wide. I mean, you guys could bunk in this thing, literally. Yeah. I mean, so, don't have beds, but... I don't need a bed. So I could bunk in there, gave us some money, uh, and watch the cart. Yeah, that's insane. Um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce myself to these horses. I cannot cast the spell I'll speak with animals. Okay. But I'm gonna speak in the exact in the exact same way. Just gonna introduce myself. Okay, so you're just gonna like. Uh, hi. Hello. <laughs> What's your What's your name? What's your name? No, you're you're a quiet one. No one just kind of looks at each other like. You're, you're cute. Mm, apple. Mm. No. Um. As you say apple for a moment, one of them kind of looks at the other one and then kind of steps forward. You notice that one's white and one's black, and the black one kind of steps forward like. You like apples? I don't have any apples on me. <laughs> and it kind of takes a step back. But now that I know you like apples. Looks at the other one and then just comes. Guess who's getting some apples? All right. Yeah, what'd you ever do with that? Any companion that I let you borrow? I, uh, I don't know if you ever actually told, told me how it's just happened. I don't remember. I mean, what about that? A crystal. Yeah, we, yeah that's, I got that. That's, you want that? Yeah, can I see that? Yeah. I'm is just it, gonna take you this. Guys have two. What? No, no, they merge. They merge. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna fucking fish this. I'm gonna hop in the wagon. It's a covered wagon. Yes. Okay, so people can't just immediately yep, see us. Yep. Yep. You got. I'm gonna hop in the wagon. Tarps at the front, back, and sides. I will follow him. Yep. Into... Okay. Do you have any experience driving wagons? He might. I don't know. I think you might have proficiency with light vehicles. It depends on his background. Oh, no, with his background, he's a student. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know. As a good student, and I came from it. Yeah, it's not a power. Uh, uh, as we're, before we even left, left, left this workshop, I'm going to take out this machine, and I'm going to fucking hand this to him. Good luck. Uh, and then I'm going to hop up front. Wait, what was it? Huh? Who's speaking? Grandridge, sorry. What was that? What, the machine? It's, yeah. It's, oh, shit! Yeah, it's Don't give it to him! He's, it's his gem. What if it's just gonna I don't know, no. Don't bro. give it to him! Don't give it to him, dude! I'm just like... Give it to this <laughs> dude! Give it to him at least! The last time this guy had a gem... Oh, Jesus, no! <laughs> man, I don't even want to hear about it! What about this guy? Come know. on! I mean, he could. So, what is it, what is I'm already taking the gem out of the machine. So, I, I, have, I, have a, I have a quick question. I've seen a lot of people. I've seen a lot of people. Okay, like as you do so, give me contract. just give me a sight of hand check. Usually, a quick pick me up word, you know, yeah. helps. Okay. Uh, the last time so the there... you went down, you almost fucking died, and magic yeah. wasn't helping. It's too late, he's already opening it. As far as you guys are talking, he's just like, look. Yeah, you guys go. have this debate. Yep, he's just like, look, go ahead, go ahead. Do either of you know anything about that? I do not. You don't know anything about that? <laughs> like, I was... I guess we can contest that, yeah. Complete darkness. <laughs> okay. Uh, can we do an insight versus your deception? Like, damn. Yeah. Sure. Dude. Fucking roll deception, bitch. Yeah. I'm not even proficient in insight. Nine. 
18. Well, yeah, no. I know something. So you can't. I was fucking lying. <laughs> I was fucking lying. So you you just see his demeanor just shift a little Meanwhile, bit. Meanwhile, I'm like. Meanwhile, he's, whatever, like, he's, he's in the back. Like, <laughs> you just hear pink. It's open. And you see a little shard just <laughs> sift away. But the machine seems to slowly come to a stop. As it seems whatever was inside of it is finally burnt up. After a moment, you notice that as the machine now completely empty, whatever was inside fueling it, gone. You feel it drain just for a moment, and then your power kind of come back now that it is completely subtle and subsided, whatever it was. Wait, this machine was on this whole time? Yep. Did I turn it on? You don't know. But there's no crystal. Nope. Now, what was in it wasn't a crystal. It was a small crystalline chart of it. That's that's that, yeah. That's a fucking crystal. Huh? I'm just Christ. making sure I you knew it was understand. Like, like yeah, 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 I'm just, just I'm just, just making sure you understand. Splinter, splinter. Okay, so now we have no. Yeah. Uh, give me an Arcana check or an Investigation check, whichever. They're the same. No, it's up to you because it depends so on what you're looking for. Arcana. I mean, you don't okay. Twenty four. There's remains of something in here. You don't know what it is, but there's still a so, residue of something I'm, I'm left within with this canister. I, I already have fucking suspicions. You're not sure what it is. Kind of kind of it Do you have a way to gather it into something? If you want to be a private yeah, have a vial. That's okay. Okay, so you want to scrape Fine. it into a vial? Yeah. If you don't okay. want to, like, open Do you have a vial? Do you have an alchemist set or something? Off yeah. person myself. <laughs> Do you? Okay. Do. Okay, I'm just making sure. Don't get us killed, please. Don't try. Okay. All right. Is there any way, anything we can do to fucking prevent that business again? Yeah, I don't want no black chains around me. Shit. Yeah, that was kind of fucking metal. Maybe not walk into the fucking force by yourself. Hey, you know what I'm saying, Gildo? Yeah, no. I do I do We're gonna have to get back to the paper. What does yeah. the residue look like? Just like uh, a small, like lightish, almost like a translucent, at, at translucent, the, like light. That, yeah, blue. Never, it's like a see-through, like a whitish blue. Does it blue. have any like reaction to me touching it? Okay. Right. Kind of absorbs into your bone structure a little bit. I'm just gonna keep fucking. Doing it. Dial up. So as you do it, give me a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> You notice that you're doing it to your finger. Yeah. As you do it, you see just a little bit of your finger start to erode and crack. And after it does so, it almost starts to shatter and then it stops. I'm still doing it. <laughs> so then you Does, notice. I can get another skeletal finger. So it's then you problem. notice as you do so, it starts breaking down and then your entire finger just crumbles away and starts falling down and Are starts you breaking your, further your into your hand. Give you this box for fucking five minutes? <laughs> you guys turn around and now he's appendage gone what and about halfway no, down no, to no, his no. hand it starts crackling away and he's like, hmm. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck are you doing? Well, I gotta get it. I gotta get the whole bone of on. So I'm gonna hope it reacts. Well, you don't have some have to. Well, I got nine more. It's like <laughs> fascinating. So you going more? Fuck? You going, dog? You know, <laughs> so there's not quite that much. It's not like a jar. I know it's but, like a little. Yeah, but you kind of like smather it up, and you notice that it starts eroding most of your hand. And after about a minute, it just crumbles your hand down to your wrist, and it just sifts away and it starts kind of crackling down your forearm and then stops what are you i had to get rid of all the bones in the hand okay to get another hand we don't believe you it's just... Wait, so who's the, the fucking necromancer here right well it started crackling down he lost complete hand now it's starting to crackle and sh like almost you know shows signs of like Weakening and shattering almost. Well, I'll tell you, that, like, went down here, you're going to get an entire new forearm as well. Yeah, I mean, it's. Not, it I start wrist. casting mending on, like, the rest of my That is hand. Yeah, so you, you look down, and the small shatters start kind of forming back somewhat. Not completely. It's almost still, like, darkened bone that kind of, like, heal back in a way. But 
and for the most part goes back to itself. Not completely. It's still a little weak around like the wrist part. Well, if you... I'm right-handed. I'm physically incapable of drinking, but right now, God, if I could, only I could. Hey, that's a fucking sick trick. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah, do you do? Seen, what do you I've do when you're this. alone? What do you do when you're alone? I summon skeletons to play poker. Summon skeletons and play poker with them, and does he do something else? You know. <laughs> I don't know how I do something. I don't have any anything like what? bones. Oh, this is yeah. skeletons. I don't know. I'm a military leader. <laughs> not, not a comedian. Not a book man. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. So, uh, are you done? Whatever. Can we go to a bar now? I'm just gonna start trancing in the middle of the wagon. <laughs> so you're sitting in the wagon. Okay. Half full flat. I have to. I have to get my spell slot. Who's slot. driving? I'm gonna drive. Okay. Said Gritter just just, we just kind of slumps in the back. So. <sighs> you're drunk. Me and Gritter's a first car drunk. You said you wanted to do some research. Gritter's isn't drunk, but he's ha- he's halfway there. I'm trying to get there. Uh, I I have a book on like religious Gilda. backgrounds. And the old man could handle it. Let me have some. Uh, I have a I have a book about like religions and shit. I'll pass that off to this guy. Oh. Have at it. Good luck. Now you have a book that you know of. Oh god, do you remember the name of it? I don't think you ever gave me a name. Uh, I'll look it up. It's a book from the ancient Give library the in Alberzine in Maxwell. Huh? Give me the soda. I never actually did. Was that any of them? Into the library? No, I, I went to the dorms. I mean, that and the blue one. Right, but I mean like, well you know of the well, ancient I know library. Of the never, actually, never yeah, right. Like, what, well, uh, now you have a book of religion that he found in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so they all went in there at some point. They were like, "Hey, let's get some books." Plus, I only need to buy one glove right now. Yeah, that's where Gildor got his betrayer flesh book. He rolled like a nat twenty on investigation in the necromancy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you're looking for like gods, like that's pretty good flavor. You're gonna have to show me a dealer. Where do you get that from? Dealer. What was his name? Uh, Perry. Peron. Perry. Strawberry. Perry. Perry. Nope, that's that's I don't remember. Remember. It's been a while. Percy! Percy! Yes. My god! Percy Puffon! Yes. Yeah. Oh, per- it was like Puffon, okay. Mm-hmm. I was halfway there. Yeah. Oh, me! Yeah. What a man! Yeah, what a man he what is a indeed! Man he was. Uh, if you're looking at. If, I would start with the god of like death or some shit. Uh, his name's Bozier. I don't know. He's in, He's like in the middle. Like, Page Grinder just kind of comes in. We're going to the bar, right? Can we Yo, just fucking you go in? Can we? Right. Lead this? You want me to drive? I could probably make it fucking. Are you five hundred feet? Are you good at driving caravan? Military leader. I mean, I've led caravans a lot in my time. Yes, I can easily do this. All right. I wasn't good, you know. Chime in. It's your party and all, but I mean, if you're good at it, go for it. I, I oh, I'm not gonna be going very far, but I'll chime in here and there. Maybe if I've had a few drinks and you allow me to smoke a little bit, yeah, I'll drive. You only try to drive while intoxicated? Is that what I'm hearing? I only work while intoxicated. <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> No, that's a wall in a good mood. Let's go for it. No, you guys make your way in. Yeah. He starts talking about, you know, fights he's had, and you guys make your way. He drives miraculously, very smooth. He pulls up, and he knows the reins very well, actually. He gets off the ho- or off the wagon. He ties up the horse, and he dismantles part of the caravan, and you see him put it upright and t- park it, like, perfectly, and then put up the horses. See? That's how it's done. Now, drink. I'm still in the back. As you guys are doing so, you're in the caravan. Who's all going in? Uh, yes, I am. I will, 100%. Before I go, Gildor, can I try your little smoke thing? <laughs> it is quite good, I'd say. <laughs> now, as you guys enter, you see that the name of this is... It is a pulpit. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And this place actually open. Yes, it is open. It's actually a really nice establishment. Um, as you guys look around... Let me, here we are. Uh, you guys notice that this is a very large tourist attraction. As you guys walk in, this is a 
um, grand adventures in basically as you look around there's tons of mantles and trophies around of people that have ventured through the contravents holt and brought back great beasts and had great stories to tell you see all kinds of like stories kind of transcription and almost like drawings done with uh people that have basically made their way and made famous as you guys walk through there seems to be a young halfling man yes uh room or food and drink uh, a little of a and a little of b both which one first room? how many how many beds to a room Oh, uh, we can accommodate at max two beds to a room. We have suites that have one bed that can fit four to one bed. Have you never stayed in a luxury suite, sir? I cannot say that I have. Well, if you have 20 gold, it's one of the best nights sleep you'll ever get. And how much for two regular rooms? Uh, two gold. Here's two gold. Huh. Here's four gold. All right. Now, will you be needing any services, food? We can have it brought to your rooms if you wish to dine in your rooms. Uh. Redridge kind of rings in. Yeah. Where am I going to sleep? I'm getting my own room. I mean, there's two beds to a room. There's four of us, and I don't even need a bed. So you can have a room all Oh, all right. Yeah. Don't tell him, man. See, the guy just kind of looks. I heard that, but it's okay. Yeah, I don't understand how. So, that would... do you want any services brought? Uh, British, what do you want to drink? Whiskey? Duh, yeah. I mean, we're drinking still, right? I'll sit at the bar. I can go my own. At this time, it's about 10 a.m., but yeah, he's drinking. Yeah, I'll sit at the bar. All right, yeah. I'll join you at the bar then. Yeah. And then we'll go to the room. How about that? We, yeah. we head to the bar, get a little bit of bread or something, head to the room, sleep. Have a good midday nap. Head off maybe later tonight. Is that our goal? Well, let's just go talk about it. So you guys head to the bar. You see that? All right, we'll make five spots at the bar. You notice it's kind of busy, but people are getting ready to leave. You know, it's busy and people are not really sitting down and dining. You see people eating early morning breakfasts and starting to kind of gather. Some people returning from adventures. You guys look around. Everybody give me a perception check, actually. Wish. That's where he's been this whole time. What the fuck, Buck? I'm still in the wagon. Okay. Seven. Seven? I'm just enjoying my. Drink. You notice that inside, I it seems that. as if there's this large stone structure protruding, but you're not quite sure what. Did you get? 15. 15? 19. You both notice that inside this, there seems to be like large, some sort of like old ancient tower that has kind of been almost dismantled over time, that this like huge cavern and inn has been built around. It kind of uses like the infrastructure and you see inside of it all kinds of like rune carvings over time different adventures or just past from who knows how long and now as you guys look al- along it as you, you guys looking at it you guys just kind of hanging out at the bar uh i'm not drinking uh and what's a while like shoot the shit sure with nothing but <clears throat> all right give me a give me a roll all right, give me a religion check, and give me a religion check as well. I was going to take a good gander at it after they pointed it out to me, because I'm like, oh. Give me a religion <laughs> check as well. 18. 16. Okay. Um, 16. You notice that this book, you kind of sift through, new to the book, as you look through it, you notice that there's life, death, tons of days gods, a lot of them draconic, especially from the area. It seems as if the cloud region weighs very heavily on a very draconic like deity base you notice that a lot of them stem from Muhammad to many different names of lesser deities to even greater deities you kind of keep sifting through and you're looking for you see death you notice that there's reincarnation you notice that there's you know um, ways to possibly merge life with death you keep going through you see ways of you know giving one soul packs you know what what are you really looking for well, since I'm looking for stuff about my, my nature. Okay. So you kind of dig through. Um, would you roll 16? Yes. After you kind of, I'd say, spend about 15 minutes, everybody kind of is sitting there gathering their drinks, waiting for the drinks and whatnot. You're kind of just sifting through. As you do so, you see a mention of some dark entity. 
or something known for bargaining for death. You just kind of glance through, you kind of sift down, you see paragraphs, almost like an equivalent exchange. The building of some sort of dark army or some sort of dark entity wanting to build its forces, trying to grow something. No name. Just no name. You have now with a sixteen. You're kind of just glancing, you know, dancing through, seeing passages of people talk about, you know, interactions. Many different names. Uh, you see some Dozier. You see another one that goes by what looks like Aaron. Then you see a Ron. You see very many different depictions of female version Aaron Dell. You're not quite sure. You know, you go through, but it kind of starts hitting. You're like, hmm, similarities. Then you get to a point where you notice that there's this equivalent exchange where a bargain or something is made. Something is taken, something must be offered. And if you're given something, something must be given to acquire that. Seems as if whatever is given, or this pact or this chain, is almost never broke until that equivalent exchange is met. As that happens, you hear spud down. All right, there's your drinks. And it kind of startles you for a minute. You kind of put your head up. Now, the rest of you, what was your religion checks? Two. Two? <laughs> Eighteen. So you kind of look, you don't notice anything. You just kind of veer off like, yeah, I wasn't looking at those. My drinks in front of me, I'm like, oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you look, you notice that there's a large depiction here of like a draconic presence. You see that not only is there... Almost like in what languages do you speak actually? Common Elven. Okay, Elven, that's what I need. Druidic and Primordial. You see an Elven a lot. <clears throat> Very old, almost like worn down on this tower that's kind of sitting in the centerpiece of this tavern. Old etchings of something that looks to be like, uh, <clears throat> speaks in just glances of like a, a great fight, you know, that there were groups. Uh, you know, great adventures that stayed nearby. Um, that they used to, you know, drink here. They stayed here. That this watchtower was a meeting place. Notice that this was a place where they used to drink. Over time, you see stories and etched down. You see that the flagon has become a place for people based around party members that became legends. Not quite sure of the name, but they made a big deal and an impact in this area a long time ago, possibly even before the cloud regions were formed. Maybe on the surface, wherever these cloud regions were, maybe, you know, you're not quite sure. You just know that they're very old. You notice that as you kind of look through, you glance through, you know, there's a lot of distraction, but you notice, give me a per, an investigation check as you're really looking into this, because you're old decently. 13? You see very at the bottom a uh, a reference to a party with a leader. They met here, they trained in the area for a short period of time throughout the years, and they used to go into the Contravance Holt. They used to train against the beasts for a great fight that was coming. That's what they used to tell the people. You know that that was a gathering in the area, and this is where they used to bring the people to drink and celebrate when they would have successful bouts or hunts or fights. You're not quite sure. They were kind of vague in their storytelling, but kind of gather that. Now, as you guys sit here at the bar, you see this dwarven man bring you all these drinks. All right, is there anything else? Breakfast. It's food. All right, well, uh, okay. we got some chicken. A little bit of egg has been cooked. And you see, he just pulls out a huge crate full of eggs. Can you cook some eggs? I mean, you know, it'll cost you a little extra, but yeah, it'll take some time. Anything else? We got some fruit, a little bit of vegetables. Uh, give me apples. Yeah, I got some apples, yeah. I'll take a couple apples. All right, anything else? I don't believe so. All right, yeah. You can see, he goes in the back, grabs a couple apples, maybe two silver. He hands you five apples. Uh, Eggs, that's it. All right. Give me about five minutes. Give me about uh, two seven. All right. What's the drink? Oh, you didn't pay for those. Apparently not. Supposed to handle that at the front desk. Fuck it. 
All right, well, each one of you for a drink. Let's just say three silver each. Great. Well, who? I brought you two. That being said. Grandridge got one as well. So yeah. three. Yeah. So, yeah. One, I'm, two. I'm, I'm definitely you didn't get one? Three. I'm paying for So Grandridge got one. Okay, so you're paying for Grandridge. So yeah. three silver. Anybody else? You're not there. Now, as you're there, give me a perception check. I'm in a trance. Oh, that's right. You're just. Oh, you just you immediately turn to Okay. So okay. five silver for the uh, drink in the end. So is it? As soon as I got apples, I head out. I head back out to my fucking. All right. Carrot. As soon as Granger gets his drinks, he sees you heading back out. He's like, "All right, guess we're good." Oh, you know, you can stay. We got rooms. No, nah, there's party. no need. I mean, party dog. I don't. You go back to the room, and Granger just kind of heads back to the room. Yeah, I'll take my drink to the room. Okay. And he looks at. I have another one sent to my room. All right. And you see the half lane. He just kind of. All right. Okay. And another one orders up, and then the dwarf he. If then you see another waiter kind of start hauling Grendridge with a drink. Mm-hmm. What are the rest of you guys doing while he's in a trance? Uh, I'm bringing my apples out to my, my new horse friends. All right, so you're going on out. Yeah. And as um, it sees you. Okay. All right, so you head to the room. Grendridge is kind of just walking with you as you do so. He's like, so uh, everything's going to be all right with us, right? Like, Now we're about to travel all the way back to Abazine. Those black fucking chains come over my body. I know it's funny, but you're gonna save me, right? I will try. I cannot pay. Better than some of my girlfriends told me, so... I guess that means we're in, right? And he kinda goes out. We in? Yeah. Alright. Have a good night. He ducks off. Wait, are we staying together, actually? No, he bought... There's two rooms! They're waiting. Are you taking your own room first? We're separate. I get my own room. All right, cool, cool. All right, so you, they they go off to the separate room. You go out with some apples. Yeah. You hold them. He's like. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll you see one just. I'll, yeah, I'll fucking wheel the apples. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, apple a piece. He fucking works. The other one just like. The other one doesn't like that. Oh, doesn't seem apples. to want it. The other one's like. Oh, oh. <laughs> like he takes it and he seems he just kind of rubs up against him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you give him the apples. Mm-hmm. You're still trancing. Uh, you're eating eggs and drinking, drinking, beer. Eggs and drinking I'll, beer. I'll give him two of the five apples. How long have I been trancing? About 30 minutes. Okay, so three and a half hours left of trancing. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give, give the, the apple work. <laughs> you don't want to do this in the room. <laughs> You, you want to do that it's out fine. in the middle of the... Uh, yeah. uh, it's fine. Wagon room. He's skeleton. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give the apple horse a pat on its like, fucking shoulder, right? He's like... Good horse, good horse. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll, I'll head uh, back in to... Your room? Uh, I'm, I'm going to be like, Gildor, we're going to be inside. All right, and then I'm just fucking back off into the rooms. All right. I'm going to find a corner. Uh, fucking all... Go into the room with Lane. Find a corner and sit down. Now, my rest. while you were having your eggs and you are just hanging out, you see a group approach. They seem fresh off an adventure or maybe preparing for an adventure. You're not quite sure. You're sitting there and you're eating and you notice that uh, they start talking. You hear one, yeah! We're gonna be going out pretty soon, guys. You bring all your gear? Yes, we brought it all. All right, well, uh, they go on and on and on, and after a few moments you hear them, they kind of go on and they speak of this place that seems to be haunted. You're not quite sure by what. It seems to be somewhat nearby. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna go walk the lands. You hear the dwarven man. You better return! You're one of my better paying patrons! Oh, we'll return, don't you worry. We're just gonna go check it out, you know, stake it out. We're gonna head there later tonight and really see what's going on. After a few moments, you hear that something seems to be haunting some sort of runes near you nearby. You're not quite sure. It's heard to be a myth as you hear them talk about it, and then they laugh about it. And then you finish your food and drink, and then you head... What are you doing? You can ignore that. Right. Head to the room. Okay, so you just turn away, and you're just like... Like, I've had enough of this shit. Yep, you, you <laughs> turn up, you head to the room. Now, all of you guys head to the room. You're trancing. The rest of you guys uh, sleeping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gotta so you tidy up, you wash up, you gather yourselves, you lock the door behind, yep. you double check. 
It's locked for sure. Very right. secure. And there are no windows. Right. I mean, I don't need a bed. I just need. Were you with him? No, I'm. I'm I mean, Gildor's out in the carriage, so technically you guys can you can remain in your form if you wish. I mean, uh, you don't have to shapeshift. You can. He's out yeah, in the no, carriage. I know. Oh, I know. I'm what I. Know. I've been a guy for a while. No, I don't. I don't need. Bed. I can stand in a fucking corner. All right, so you guys sleeping? Yes. I'm going to. Yeah. Right uh, now, oh my God, and just ask for advice. Let's see if I. Can. Give me a religion check at advantage. Now, as you guys do so, you guys are doing whatever you wish for for as long as you wish for. You guys are in here for at least eight hours. You guys have full cord. I have a bag of gold and miscellaneous gems that Grendr handed me. Mm -hmm. I'll count that. All right, you notice that there's about 1,200 pieces of gold. Hey. And you notice that mixed in gems, you're not quite sure, but they seem pretty valuable. 25,200. Said. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, mixed with a lot, a lot of it's platinum. Okay. Um, you you notice you take a moment. Nothing. Make sure everything's quiet, still in the room for a moment. As you do so, you kind of huddle yourself in a corner. You know, try and tune out the rest. You ask for advice. Nothing for a moment. And then almost. Like a small, almost like an ant-like creature, kind of crawls out, and you see it kind of looks at you for a moment and stops. And you just stare at it, and you keep murmuring your words, and then you halt for a moment. It kind of makes its way closer to you. You see that there's a small crumb about halfway between you and it. As you look at it, you kind of notice it's inching towards you. You notice it's being very brave. And in that moment, you see the flake of the crumb almost go towards it, and then the ants go very fast towards it, gather it, and kind of scamper off. You almost see in that moment a clairvoyant thought of bravery. That the thought enters your mind of even in the darkest time that you still need to prevail there's still good things to push forward to and even though there's some scary things out there you can overcome them you just need to keep burying down that there's still good things to come the darkness though it still looms and things need to be met and if things aren't met there's consequences and as that ant was brave you could have crushed it but you didn't so sometimes your consequences are met with no force and sometimes they are you're unsure, but you gather decent meaning. You break from this trance after a few hours. You ponder on it. Are the rest of you guys doing anything while you guys are resting? <clears throat> yes, you are. So, after everybody else, they are resting. You all wake up from your trance. You see that some of the drapes on the side are open. And you see small snow trails of footsteps that have kind of entered in. Very small. Almost childlike. You hear in the distant laughter as a couple kids now seeing you waken. They kind of dash as they were kind of peering and looking at you. Oh, something happened. <laughs> anyway. So, that's it. You wake up from your trance and, uh, yeah, that's it. To close the curtains again. And I'm going to read my book. I read my book until someone comes to me. Yeah. Alright, so you go on and read your book and uh, just roll me an intelligence check. You go on for the rest of the four hours as that happens. You guys all wake up. You guys get a full rest. Seven. You go on a little bit longer. 
but for the four full hours, you realize, you understand, you're going to be able to summon most likely. You wait outside the carriage a few times and you start moving your hands up a few times, summoning some sort of words under your breath very quietly. And as you do so, you see these large hulking bones start coming out and then you stop as you're in town. You're like, hey, I think I got this. Nice. Now, the rest of you gather your things. You guys start preparing yourselves, donning on your gear, gathering any food and whatnot in your gear, your packages and whatnot, and you guys are leaving your rooms, going down and what? Heading towards the carriage, getting ready to leave? Okay, as you guys do so, you notice that it's later in the day now. It's getting quite dusk. Um, it's about 6, 7 p.m. as you guys are getting ready to head out. Grandridge is ready. He's waiting outside, getting a drink, and he's had some food. He gets up. Hey! You guys will never guess what Gildor did while he was waiting on us. I saw him outside. He was doing something with his hands, but... <laughs> You'll never guess. Are you ready? You guys all kind of go up and peer out the windows. And you guys see Gildor, he's out there. He's kind of moving his hands. And you guys see these large bone structures kind of coming out. And then he sifts them down. But as he does so, you guys see all over this mask. You're still wearing your mask, right? Yeah. Yeah, you see all over his mask and a lot of his, his just figure. Just charcoal or some sort of like chalk-like substance that has been drawn all over. You see these smiley faces and like these huge mustaches and just googly eyes just wrote all over. <laughs> you see some sort of like paint that has been sloshed all over his bones and whatnot and things that have been like taped or some sort of glued to the back of his robes. Almost like he's got huge banners flapping around him like he's got some sort of feather or things flapping in all kinds of colors and like this paper mache. He doesn't seem to notice it. He's just moving around. You guys turn around, you guys walk out, he turns and he's like, you see, he's very amazed. He's learned something new and he seems eager to want to show you and you guys just notice. He looks like a fucking horrible Halloween costume made by a three-year-old. So you just see a lot of the, just, and you feel this Gildar just kind of whisk off of you and you feel all this paper and just random parchment and some of this like chalk like just kind of whisk off of you smearing it a little bit getting almost exactly every little bit of it but still tiny little bit on your robe that you can tell my character is going to be laughing hysterically. as it you, falls off you okay Gildor? you kind of you have a mental breakdown over there i can summon big things is it that, whatever this is, <laughs> it doesn't matter like, at all <laughs> compared to what, what I just say. discovered. Why were, you, why were you like a paper mache boy? I think it was the kids that found me while I was sleeping. Paper away. mache monster oh. is what I like to call them. Okay, all right. So these kids found a skeleton. So I figured out, it was like, hey, let's walk with it. Technically... They just saw this like dude in a robe and mask. They oh, didn't see all of his. So bones. Now I have a skeleton hand. Yeah. So they just know a whole bone you hand. I mean, you were. <laughs> yeah, I have one skeleton. Yeah, but you were dark in a carriage. I mean, yeah. it's later in the afternoon. You've been sitting there a while. They decided to mess with you. Okay. All right. So, you guys gather the carriage. You guys ready to head out? Anything uh, else uh, before you guys are heading out of dress, Sven? Yeah, I'm just making. I'm looking at fucking spells real quick. Make sure nothing. I don't need anything. All right, Grandridge gets up. All right, we'll talk about it in the carriage. I'm tired of waiting. We're running out of daylight. You guys get on, and he hello, and he snaps on, and you guys start leaving. Just fine. Okay, so we have torches. Uh, no, you do not. I mean, you, torch in a bed in one of the bags. I mean, I mean if you guys have, you guys have whatever you're on you. Grandridge does not I, have any torches. I have an explorer's pack, which I believe comes with. Most likely. I don't have to double check, but. Yeah, and I also have this, and then I'll fucking stick out my hand, and just, I'll be holding a ball of fire. Which is like, careful, careful! This is gonna make it at least 13, 14 more days! Jeez! Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey! And he kind of leans back in, it seems, while you guys were maybe messing around, he's got a pipe of his own. Nice. Like this, it's not as fancy as Gildor's, but... Is it like cotton candy? No, it's like a wooden pipe and he's got legit tobacco in it. Oh, okay. Um, he's burning Thanks. it and you see it and you light it. I didn't and... you. I'm full health. I know, but I mean, I'm, I haven't done anything. Yeah. Although it also hurts me to do so. <laughs> well, let's not be doing that now. All right, so 
Dark Dallas album. Are we traveling through the night? Staying on the road? Come on. We can just stay on the road a little bit. I see that face, Aurum. After the last, like, three days, I would love to just take... Precautions. Yeah, like a two-week vacation. All right, how about this? How about this? How about this? We'll go until we reach somewhere that looks kind of scary. If we do so, we'll set up a perimeter, and we'll wait it out. We'll take turns. We'll nap it out. Maybe eat some food. Train a little. You guys seem intrigued in some of these books. Some of you guys can read. And then we'll regather in the morning, and we'll head off during daylight, if that is really what we need to do. If not, how about we make it through and see... Stay on the road? There's gotta be other people traveling at night, right? We can't be the only ones. You know the area better than we do, so... I don't know this area very well. And we don't know it That's all. still more than what I do. If we're heading towards the capital, I can only imagine that there will be gods or maybe somebody the along trouble. the way. We'll run into maybe some small towns along the way that may not be awake during the middle of the night. How long are we wanting to travel? Now, you guys, while you guys are talking, you guys are, you know, at a dress then, making your way. Eight hour day. Alright. You guys make it about five and a half hours. About twelve thirty one in the morning. Complete pitch black. You guys have a couple of uh, small torches lit. Do you guys want to light any torches or are you guys riding complete? Well everybody black Star out. Vision decides and Grendridge probably doesn't. He does not. That uh I Grendridge is a human. I'll be riding shotgun. Okay. Uh, are you riding outside of the caravan? Because Grendridge is currently the only one outside of the caravan with the horses riding. Yeah, I would, I'd be right shot. Right? Gotcha, gotcha, If, if gotcha, he's gotcha. here, yeah. I'm here. Alright, so the rest of you he, guys he are brains, inside. Uh, I will just... I'll essentially just have, like, uh, yeah, sure, I'll have a torch. Why not? Alright, so you have a little bit of torches. Yeah. You're about 20 feet out. You guys go through. Everybody give me a perception check. I'm not. Because I'm too absorbed to read Okay. Trash. 13. 13. Okay. 12. 12. Perception. Switch it up a little bit here. Okay. You um realize was it fourteen? Thirteen for me. Well. Twelve. Um quiet. You hear a couple skitter and scatterings out in the forest. Um it's starting to become very cold. Snow's starting to fall a little bit. Uh you guys are making Damn. decent pace. Um and at this point you guys all start feel this slight shift in your forearm. You feel this, and you notice this number of four. As the day starts to change, you see it sift, change, and you see this golden, orangish light illuminating your forearm turn to a three. And as you see that change, you don't really notice anything else other than that. It kind of illuminates a little bit, and Grendridge kind of turns down as he sees it. It's that. I don't... I know what it used to be. I don't quite know what it is now. If I had to guess, I would say that that is the amount of days until something happens. Well. Yeah. We could very well just disappear in front of your eyes. Yeah, I don't know. So, <laughs> what? How, how much? How much do you want to know? You want to know? It kind of turns at you. I've been going this long with you. So it's kind of a similar to to a boy's black chain, you know, like to parent. Like You're going to die. You're going to get sucked into the ground. I don't... Maybe, maybe the body not getting sucked into the ground. Maybe the soul sucked out of us. I don't know. He, The guy... The guy... He's a big fan of souls. Uh, and then he was a four. Now it's a three. I mean, I don't... I don't... I'll, I'll like... Probably they did say he was going to summon And be like, oh, cryptic. Any response? As you rub it, and you say the word cryptic, yeah. 
you notice that a dark swirl starts to kind of emanate on the forearm. And as you say it, Grunders, whoa. Yeah. It starts to swirl. You hear a voice. Are you to be summoned? No. I mean, I wouldn't. No, I just want to know why it's three. What is this? What is this accounting down for? Full moon awaits. Of three days. Feet. A quest shall be summoned. Okay. All right. What's our quest? You aren't listening, but if you chime in, you break your reading, you kind of hear this, and you're like, huh? Yeah, I heard quest, I'm like, the fuck? So yeah. is this so, is, is out loud, or is this just in their head? He just kind of hears it out front, almost like a faint whisper. Uh, I'll so, say you, you hear it as well, as well as you, because you guys are both attuned with this. I'm just picturing myself like, so... You're just person drawn talking yeah, to you. Yeah, you're just I, almost, exactly. I assume what you're referring to... The thing that formerly possessed Cassandra Bolt? Is it still the target? Body. Soul. That is what is needed. You have killed it. But it still remains. Right. Without it. Body. Soul, your curse, your contract, still indebted. And then you see from your arm, whisk back. Not good. Wait, shouldn't we have asked for another target? Yeah, we don't have any leads currently for where this fucking thing is so. now i will tell you that when you guys met cryptic he told you that when you guys had the soul and you killed the body say the name bring it back with you oh yeah but we buried her yes yeah, because Condra wolf is no one he wants the thing he wants your soul or something to do with it you want it specifically hers? What's your name? You're unsure. The grand dude, she just looks. Are you guys hers? This is her. Yeah, what a quinkity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you turn, so wait a minute. You're all cursed, I, and I I'm not. And he kind of looks at his forearms. He's not either. Dude, I, I'm not with your curse. Well, that's not. His eyes just better. widen. What caravan am I riding about? I want to try to remove curse. Please, or, please, okay. Thank you. Yeah, um, at at my anything? touch, all curse affecting one creature or object. Is there anything I can do? That As you do so, you give me a. Any organ. You. Um, you should make a roll with a spellcasting ability. Model. Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, give me. Most, most remove curses. I give me. Um. Now, you know what? Give me a religion check. That's fucking awful. That's actually awful. That's terrible. What? His religion skill is awful in person. Religion is an intelligence. That's fine. It's not a spell based thing here. Religion is wisdom. Or help if I rolled good. No, religion is int based. Yeah, religion isn't like how how devout you are, it's how much you know about religions. So. You realize that. As you go to cast this, that there's something dark. You're not quite sure at the surface level. Do you go to push further? No. Wow, it, it literally so you mean cold for you. Don't believe it is above my kingdom. Or is there really just. You're unsure with the tent. You know that you might be able to do something, but at the surface level, no, you're not quite sure with the tent. You you need another check to push a little deeper with this curse to really see if you're gonna peer inside Orm and his soul and whatever is stamped upon it. 
you need a little bit more. DC will be a little bit higher, but you can ask maybe your group for some aid if someone would like to help you here. But uh, this is going to be something based around, um, I'd say religion or almost arcana, I'd say. I'd even let you this next one be arcana based. You're going to have an arcana check or a religion check. I'm proficient in both. Plus eight. I mean, you could eat him if you wanted to. I am minus one. I only eat him. Push. You want to eat him? I mean, yeah. I ate him. He's eating. Okay. At advantage. So with Gildor, you kind of peer in, seeing that he's struggling, and wanting to peer deeper into Orm to see what this curse is, or if he can possibly cleanse this. Seventeen. That's a lot better. You push past the surface and you see this dark shadowy curse you see his soul is just encumbered by it weighed down not very heavily though you see that this is very base contract see you are similarly kind of known or have seen or have at least experienced something like this you notice the darkness, and as you do so, and you go to kind of touch into it and cleanse it, it kind of gives a resistance, but you push further in, and you notice that there may be a possible consequence, but it doesn't seem to be bound by a soul. It seems to be bound by some other, I'd say, planar existence. It seems as if that if you break this curse, you're not quite sure what will happen. It won't affect Orm. It'll affect something else. Some sort of life creature or something. But you're not sure. But you can cleanse it. And at this moment, you're kind of sitting there uh, with this choice. You can cleanse it. Yeah, and he, yeah, he sees this too. <laughs> you, you have this clairvoyant point where you, you both kind of push past and you see this. There's a point, a precipice, where you can cleanse this curse. It's but, just... But something is going to be fixed. I don't know what. You're not sure. You can see that whatever this curse is, is it's tied to something. Nah, nah, nah. we gotta see what happens. Yeah, break break some... though. You can ask him. You're literally looking into him. I mean... Are you fine with this? Whatever happens, are you fine with this? He can break it. You gotta, you gotta crack a couple eggs, make an omelet. Well, I will cleanse the curse. Alright, so you kind of push past and both of you kind of really pushing in as you do so or you feel this like darkness almost subside immediately this weight that you thought wasn't there relieve yourself the three on your forearm vanishes small scar kind of just sits there sifted in mm. you see the three kind of etched in but oh in a moment you two hear the almost like this hissing wane <sighs> Almost like give away, like almost like a deep breath has been lost. That's all you hear. Or in a moment, you see this darkness just kind of be brought out of his eye sockets and his mouth. And in a quick, almost like breath, it just sifts away. And with your fingertips, it just vanishes. You feel the sweat kind of beating down your forehead, and both you two just kind of look at each other, and it's gone. How we just need to get it off everybody. I can do it again. What do we get it off of? Is this a spell slot you have to use? It's a third yes, level spell, spell slot. Grendra uh, just, just kind of sitting here while you guys are just leaning over in the front part of the carriage, just, and he's like, All right! Mm -hmm. And the horses just keep on picking up. What are you guys doing? You guys are about, I'd say, six hours. That took almost like a full, I'd say about, about 45 minutes to an hour. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. What did you say? But life values. Grand, you're just like, I need something. I'm out of my pipe. Yo, no. Are you next? Who else is affected? But in another eight hours. It's okay. I just fucking helped him get him up. Well, I mean, in, what I, in another nah, eight hours, nah, nah. he gets spell slots back. Yeah, so. I, I can do it. I can do just it multiple times. Just, just wait. Two hours a day. <laughs> What's your time for eight hours? Yeah, but you're choosing him first because he has blood. Me. That's fucked up. That's racist. <laughs> racist. You're a great cleric. 
Gildo, I mean like that. Gildo, to be fair. Well, actually, if hold on, life. I can just straight up kill you. That's my entire thing. True, and to be fair, you have been quite silent this entire time, and I would rather party with him. So. Well, then maybe next time we all go in and grab drinks, partake. I fake I, I, the I, I, bit. <laughs> you sit ruining in my clothes to fake drinking. Children drew on you. I was asleep. Just shut up and read your book. <laughs> I'm done with him. I need to go to cast it again. Alright, so give me a... Uh, I'll say this time, just give me a religion check at advantage for the first one, and then for the second one... Is that a lot better? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You might not need a second one, then. Religion? Yes. 25. Oh, wow. Especially now knowing the scene, you kind of wave through the darkness, hit right into it. And as you do so, both of you, without aid this time, you all just watch. Granger's kind of slowing down the caravan, watching in the back as you see Fuck This kind of on his knee while you just pull out this darkness. Now, seeing it once, second time, right after, a lot easier. It's almost like, you know, doing the second craft for the very second time after almost messing up the first time. A lot easier this time you pull it from within and this time without the mist form you feel the darkness in your hand for a moment you see this dark swirling almost like orb just emanate in your hand you kind of hold it for a moment from the flavor i want to do is virtual flame okay so you see it just kind of illuminates with this like little like and as it does so it kind of flames up with like an orangish red hum as it does so it like starts spinning almost and as it does, you hear inside just your mind. No one else hears this. What? Right hearing. Inside your head. Yes, you are hearing just a completely new voice. <laughs> just sounds like a dark, empty new voice. voice. No. I will. As you say that, now I just you whoosh, snap your fingers and you just see the darkness and. Phew, it just emits into smoke. Render is just like, what was that? No. Well, you offered something as well. Yeah, well, I offered you didn't take it. Why am I offered nothing? Do you want it? <laughs> and he just goes back on. Do you want me to bow to something? Now, at this point, you already both already of you two disorder. are cleansed. You notice that you both feel a lot lightened. You feel less of weight upon yourselves, and you feel that the three is no longer upon your form. I almost forgot what it felt like to feel normal. I mean, I was gonna say, after you, the gem, you had a gem and you sold your soul. Like, yeah, you're you've been fucked up for a minute. I'm just gonna sit up. And be like, oh well, yeah, that, that gem is still <laughs> bad. It just echoes through the darkness. All curses up from the character creature. Yeah, yeah, no, so, he's so he's still affected by that. He's no, he's well. he's good. No, instead of uh, I'm gonna go. Woo! 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 <laughs> hey, it's like fucking one o'clock in the morning, and we're in the middle. Meanwhile, I'm just like, like <laughs> well, it's not like this. It's more like. Yeah. So Grand like, yeah. is kind of sounded like a wolf. All right, <laughs> we're ending the first day. Take a rest. Made good travel. We've made about uh, 40 miles, give or take. Only about, you know, 900 ish more to go. So, take camp here, and you just kind of veer off to the side of the road. Stay near the road. We're not going far off. Take turns. I'll go first. I'm not too tired. We'll sleep uh, three, four hours, and then um, I'm not someone. not sleeping at all. You want to drive the carriage then? We could keep good time. Anybody else can rest short. We can just keep alternating no, short rest. I have plus two to animal handling. My wisdom is 14. Do you want to rest? Or... I have plus eight. Can we just switch off watch and whoever is awake drive the carriage? Push man. through the night? Yes. Who goes next? You see Grendel just is beaten tired. I'll, I'll, I'll drive for... All right. He goes and he reins it off and he goes to the back. Give me an animal handling check. Uh, I would also like to uh, cast speak with animals. Okay. I'll run shotgun with George. Right. I'm reading my book. Okay. You guys want, uh, want more light? 
There's no, uh, well, uh, he's currently at rain, so he can't hold a torch anymore. No, well, no. rain? Oh, no, it's not rain, raining. Rain, rain, rain. No, I, I, I will cast one. I don't think, well, because we both have dark vision, and me, you can cast me. But, I mean, I don't want to draw too much attention to, like, critters in the night, you know? Well, yeah, the, the light is 20 feet of bright light, so. Well, the only person that needs the light is asleep. True. True. Everyone yeah, else the, is yeah, It definitely still helps. Hand, uh, animal hand, roll it. Wait. 18 total? Okay, so you're good. You... Uh, I'll, I'll be spending, I'll be spending oh, yeah, some horse time talking so. horses. So, uh, so Jeffrey! Jeffrey. This is great! Jeffrey? We got a break! Yeah. And then you hear the one. <laughs> Margaret. Jeffrey? 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 How are you guys? Have you been? They turn. Like, Let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, me. Yeah, the guy who fed you apples. Do you? Margaret. Oh, well, I'm fine. Exercise. What? Do you want light caps? Fuck you, sure, dog. Okay. No, I'm in. I'm in Bivolent. Yeah. Gotta make sure because both might be a bright light. We'll be fine. Uh, what are their names? Margaret and Jeffrey. Which yes. One? Is which that one's is that which? Jeffrey with a J or or? G G E O F. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Which one to switch? Which one you don't prefer? Uh, the black one is Margaret. She likes apples. I assume it's a she with the name Margaret. And you kind of look down. Yep, Jeffrey's a boy. Yeah, <laughs> Margaret's not. Are you guys like a thing, or you just work associates? Yeah, we're a thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh yes, we're a thing. Um, okay. Let's find out. Find out what Jeffrey likes. Jeffrey, you you don't look like a. Uh, I'm on a diet. You know, I'm on a diet. Are you concerned about your weight? Margaret's concerned about my weight. But she's what eating apples. <laughs> I'm eating whatever, honey. All right, that seems a little odd, but okay. It's not odd. I feel like, I mean, usually when couples do a diet, I feel like couples should do like things. You hear together. that, honey? I don't know. I don't want to intrude in like your guys' shtick here, but you know. I'm just... You just yeah. <laughs> Do you, is there anything, you know, on cheat days you like, uh, Jeff? Sometimes whatever's on the corner store market, he sometimes doesn't pay attention to his trolley. Oh, you just nick something? Like carrots? Like what, just anything? Some sort of meat or meat? corn, I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's whatever's there, it's quite good. Okay, nothing in particular. He's always eating something he shouldn't. Last week he was eating dog shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> it right. was good, honey. All right. You'll eat just about anything. That's good information. I will eat anything but apples, sugar cubes, and any other carrots. No carrots. Okay. So I'm not normal horse. your normal horse. I'm... But that's why I love him. I've noticed. Okay. All I mean, right. horses do eat meat sometimes. What so, this one eats meat all the time. What are you just saying? <laughs> no, <laughs> so sometimes. This fucking horse. Sometimes. doesn't like normal horse things. They're horses. Like, he's like a okay. hipster. I think he's like a human horse. Nah, this one's a mythical animal. I don't think. I don't think. Like, this thing is already eating meat. Like, Grandage is just in the back like, is this a horse? I'm going to fucking bed. Have you? Talking to fucking horses. Well, it's good working with you. I'm I'm happy that we are we can. How long are we walking for? We're getting kind of tired. We're getting kind of tired. How about let's let's do another hour? Can you do another hour? We could probably do another four or five, and then we might need a two to three hour nap. Well, let's. I don't want to push you too hard, so we'll do another two. And then we can we can pad that that little rest out. That little break time out. Okay. All right. I won't. I, you know, you, you don't seem like a, exactly a people person, Jeffrey. But I've been doing tours for twenty years. Damn. So I don't like people horse. too much anymore. Okay. I mean, I mean, that guy does talk a lot. Horses can live up to like 40, 50 years. Is that true? Yeah. Wild. It is wild, actually. It is wild. Well. Hope we can have a, a successful adventure, right? I hope we can. Uh... Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's keep going. Okay. 
It just keeps on going. So you guys go on for about another four to five hours. Nothing happens. Uh, like yep. So you guys are swapping in um, at this point. If you guys wish to keep going, you guys can. You can take a break. No, we, we got we got to let Jeffrey and Margaret rest. Damn it! All right. So you can peer off. You sit on the side. They graze for a little bit, eat some grass. You guys just kind of hang out. All right. Now, for the sake of time and where you guys are. Give me perception checks, and who will all be handling the horses throughout your trip? Because you guys can kind of time leap here up to almost in media, to where you guys will need to decide if you're going through town or veering off, unless you guys wish to hit towns in between here. Because you guys are on the main path, you're not just going to spearhead into any towns. You guys are on, like, the main road that kind of just kind of Pincer points its way through Hexwell into a media and then into the other basically cities that are capitals. So you guys are on like the main strip. You're not gonna, we're, you know, we're so like unless on you a highway, and so we would have to get off on it. To, on yeah. Exit. So right. So if you guys wish to do that, you can. I'm just letting you know that we don't need to role play every day. Yeah. Um, and if you guys stay on the road, you guys aren't running into too much risk depending on how your animal handling checks and stuff goes. So whoever is going to handle the animals, I need an animal handling check. And then I need perception checks. And we'll say for if you guys are wishing to get to a media, that'll take about seven days. Until the next day, we cast. You're going on him? All right, so religion check, and this is at advantage. And I'll give you a plus five base because you've dealt with this twice already. Can I, can I aid him? You cannot. I cannot. Someone else can, but uh, you I cannot. Will. I will. Uh, I'll make the attempt. Is it an Arcana? Well, I mean, I will. Well, he's already at advantage, never mind. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind then. So, yeah, you can't really aid anymore. Base. Oh, okay, okay. Margaret Blackmaner. Just whatever you roll, plus yeah, five. White well, and stallion. Right, right, everything. In your plus five, yeah. Yeah. Everything together, plus five, sorry. Legend? Yep. Likes anything but 16. Okay. So, as you peer into Gildor, surface level broke. You see darkness, like before. But as you peer in, there's something else. Not necessarily a curse. You see almost, instead of darkness, this light. Life force. That is almost like coalescing with him. As it does so, you see these like two forms almost coinciding within him. Circling around in his soul, almost like traversing through his body. As you do so, you see that there's a clear difference. Darkness, whatever this curse is that you've seen before, very easily you could go in and grab it and cure that. But almost interwebbed with it is this life force. You see it, and as you like, just feel this immense magical power, it seems untapped. It seems as if Gildor doesn't even there. It just seems as if it's like almost a well of magical power. That even you, as you flow in, you feel your magical power almost heightened. Almost as if, like, you could just start cutting with your fingertips through part of this curse is almost like, you know, it's like musical notes just siphoning through however you want to, enlightening your magical infrastructure. You feel this, and you see this, and for a moment, it almost, like, is one of the most beautiful magical things you've, like, seen inside of being, and it's, like, weird. I'm from an undead creature, but you see it just pulsating inside of him, just swirling, very slow, almost dormant. You go in, take curse. Grab it, you siphon it through, and inside, as you go to leave, you just see this brightness inside his soul. You leave, you cleanse the curse. As you do, you see this three leave. And as you do so, just on the tail end, as it does, you hear this faint voice. I'll see you soon we have unfinished business with the book of flesh and as that you hear the s just tail off and it fades and as that goes on we're going to take a that break right a there that was a different feel than the whole murder or someone yeah all right we're going to take a break right there so we'll come back so do your thing and then we'll get back, we'll get on. We're gonna time skip with your guys' traveling. We'll talk a little bit about what you guys wanna do here in a minute. And uh, oh my yeah. Oh shit, it's fucking great.